review for Ricochet, starring Denzel Washington and John Lithgow. Uh, this came out in 1991, and uh, it's directed by R Russell uh, Mul Mulcahy, who's a director I like. He directed uh, Highlander. That's kind of what he's best known for. Um, so this is a movie I've heard about for years. Um, never seen it. And um, basically the synopsis, a district attorney is terrorized by the criminal he put away years ago when he was a cop. So Denzel Washington, this movie starts out, he's a cop. He's in a law school. And then later he becomes a district attorney, but um, he busts uh, John Lithgow, who is um, going, he's like, he's like a hitman, and there's a drug deal going down. He goes in there, he kills everyone. This is kind of close to a, um, I guess you'd say like a fair that uh, Denzel Washington and his partner, uh, Kevin Pollack, um, are, you know, there to patrol and stuff. And, uh, yeah, he does that. They they go in the building to, to, to search for him. Um, they chase him. They end, out, they end up outside. Uh, Pollack uh, arrests Lithgow's accomplice this younger guy and then um pretty memorable scene where uh denzel is kind of messing with him he's kind of joking with him he starts taking off his clothes and and he's like look i don't have any gun on me i don't got nothing because like uh john lithgow ha has like a little girl that he has a gun pressed against her head so he's like just release the girl you can go and um then Lithgow does, but then uh, Denzel has a gun in, in his back, he pulls it out, and he shoots him in the knee. So then uh, Lithgow g uh, goes away to jail, and basically it's the, it, this is like the plot of his obsession of revenge. And, uh, you know, he's in jail for a couple years, but, um, you know, I, I like the movie. It's not an amazing movie, I'd say. I'd say Highlander is better. That's the best movie I've seen from Russell Mulcahy. And, um, but it's a pretty good movie. One of the writers is Fred Decker and Stephen D D'Souza, Menno Mayus. Um, yeah, and D'Souza, D'Souza wrote Die Hard, so... He's one of the writers on Die Hard. And Fred Decker has written a lot of stuff to Night of the Creeps, The Monster Squad, Ricochet. Uh, unfortunately, he wrote that new Predator movie with, with Shane Black, which was really bad. So, um, decent script. It's about, basically, John Lithgow is like a psychopath, and it's his obsession to get revenge. Um, so yeah, again, the spoilers, but, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie. It's, uh, you know, great performance by Denzel Washington as always. I mean, has the guy ever given a bad performance in a movie? This is kind of a forgotten movie in many ways. Um, Ice T's in it also as like this, uh, gangster who kind of grew up with Denzel Washington, but they've kind of parted ways because, you know, he's a cop and he's also now a district attorney. And later in the movie, Denzel kind of comes to him for help and he, and he helps him out and they kind of become friends again. So um, pretty memorable scene also with a grenade and uh, Denzel and, and Ice-T. Um, I'd say the best part of this movie is John Lithgow, though. I mean, you know, Denzel's great. He always is. John Lithgow is really like chewing the scenery like he is just over the top crazy one of his eyes is like uh, uh, smoked out I, I don't know what, what you would call it but um, 
And this one scene, this little girl's looking at his eye. She's like, what's wrong with your eye? And then he's like, this is my magic eye. He's like, I can see magic things through this eye or something. So, um, but yeah, I'm a big John Lithgow fan. I think he's a great actor. I mean, watch watch Cliffhanger with um, Stallone. And uh, I think that movie's really underrated. I think it's a great, that's a great action movie from the 90s. Great villain, John Lithgow. I mean, you know, spoilers, but he ends up um, shooting his girlfriend because they're both pilots. So he shoots her so that they have to use him to be a pilot in the end. Just absolutely brutal. Like this scene where she, where he's like, uh, do you know what love is? And then she's she's like, no. And then he whispers in her ear, sacrifice. And then he just he just shoots her. Just uh, John Lithgow, I think, is one of the best at playing like a cold hearted psycho. And uh, he does it well in this. He he did blowout. He also does it too. I think very well done, very well there. And uh, he was in a season of Dexter where he was like a serial killer. Amazing job. Maybe my favorite season of Dexter. But um, uh, I'll get into spoilers now for this movie. But overall, solid movie. I didn't think it was amazing, but. Um, so yeah, eventually Lithgow ends up escaping from jail. Um, he was shot in the kneecap. He did this one thing where he puts books on his legs and then he stretched his leg out and he's like in tons of pain. I'm not sure how that would fix your kneecap that was shot at, but I don't know. I mean, I've heard that a kneecap shot is like the worst and it never heals quite right. And, um, so, but then he seems okay, like, after he gets out of jail and stuff, so. I thought that was a little weird. I didn't really know what was going on there. There's a scene with him and Jesse Ventura. Jesse Ventura is his, um, cellmate. And, um, they have an argument, and John Lithgow uh, beats him up. And then later in the movie, there, there's a scene where they're, uh, fighting each other as, like, gladiators, and they have the, and they have these huge um, yellow pages books tied uh, taped to them like it's armor. And I thought that was kind of weird and interesting. Uh, Russell Mulcahy said that was a reference to Highlander. That's kind of cool. Um, just bizarre scene where they're fighting each other with like these giant poles, like their swords. And uh, John Lithgow ends up uh, killing uh, Jesse Ventura. Uh, Shoving it right through his heart, pretty much. Um, I also thought there was this subtext, kind of, that John Lithgow is gay. And um, he has this other guy with him, Josh Evans, I think. And that's kind of like his, like, you know, his lover. Um, I'm pretty sure it's it, it, that is what it's saying. It's just, just kind of lightly trampled upon lightly you know shown with a few lines of dialogue um just kind of hinting towards it but i'm pretty sure that he is uh, gay in the movie um uh, i i'm i'm I, the uh, director russell mulcahy is gay so i don't know it's just barely in the movie but i was just like is that what they're hinting at i i think it is um so he breaks out his uh, lover, accomplice. He uh, gets out on parole like a few months before. Um, that's a pretty that that's maybe one of the best scenes in the movie is with John Lithgow in the parole hearing, and the parole board's like, he's like, so what are you gonna do when you get out? He's like, well, I'm going to go to your house. And he's like, oh yeah, why to thank me? And then he and then he's like. <laughs> He's like, no, no, to sleep with your wife and daughter. He's like, what? And then he ends up killing all them. He like shoots this thing out. It hits the guy in the head. He instantly dies. Some of the other people that were there that are um, in his gang, basically, um, start attacking people. Like, like they're like dressed up as construction workers. So they're kind of nearby. They rush in. They start killing the other parole members. One of the guys takes a chainsaw. I think he has a chainsaw to, to one of the um, 
uh, guards. Uh, pretty brutal scene. Pretty memorable. So, um, yeah, that's probably the best scene in the movie. Uh, another maybe best scene in the movie is um, uh, when they kidnap Denzel Washington. All that's pretty good. And that's basically what it is. He 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 ends up kidnapping him. He injects him with drugs, so he's all he's all out of it. He's gone for days. His wife and kids don't know where he is. He uh, gets a hooker, and she has sex with him. She she gives him the clap, which which then later when they he, they end up finding him just as a homeless person because he's all he's all drugged out. He doesn't even know what's happening. And um, then it's, you know, comes out that he got the clap. There's a, there's a tape of him having sex with this lady. And uh, he has drugs in his system. So, and then he blames Lithgow. But then earlier when Lithgow got out of jail, he faked his own death. So that they think that he is dead. So he's blaming him and, he, and everyone's like, he's dead. What, what are you talking about? So, so that people start to think he's crazy. He gets suspended as the district as a district attorney, and uh, basically his life starts to fall apart. Um, John Lithgow kills his partner Kevin Pollack. I thought that was kind of obvious too. I was like, I bet he's gonna get killed. He does, and uh, Denzel Washington's with him. He starts shooting at uh, Lith Lithgow, um, but before that, Lithgow throws him the gun. He says, "Hey, here, catch!" And then you know, kind of dumb, but he catches it. They're in, the, they're in a, a you know an alley in the middle of the night, so he catches it and he's like, oh, n n now your fingerprints are on the gun that killed your partner, and then and then he starts shooting at him, he misses, he runs away, so that then he's gonna get maybe you know charged with the death of his partner. Um, so people start to think that Denzel Washington is basically going nuts. Um, and then all this culminates with a pretty interesting plan by Denzel Washington. Where he's basically going to, um, basically he's pushing the one button that he knows Lithgow does not want him to push, because he wants Denzel to be arrested, gone to jail, his whole life destroyed, and then Denzel uh, basically um, subverts that by pretending to do something, but I won't really get into that. It's actually a pretty good ending to, to the movie. Um, which culminates with them climbing this like giant, almost like a uh, um, Paris uh, Eiffel Tower type thing, and with Ice T's help, uh, Lithgow gets electrocuted and killed, and uh, Denzel's basically proven that he's alive, that he's the man behind this, and he gets his life back, but. So uh, Lith John Lithgow almost never blinks during this film. He wore, he wore contact lenses to give the impression that the character had a glass eye. Oh, it's supposed to be glass eye, okay. And this film is supposed to take place in, in the Die Hard universe. However, some supporting characters have different roles later in the in films, most notably John Amos. Because, yeah, John Amos is uh, Denzel Washington's father. He's a pastor. It's like respected man, this pastor, and um, you know, in Die Hard 2, he's he's like a military man. Um, and Gail Ann Weathers is in it too, as a reporter, just as she is in Die Hard. It's the same actress, same name. So that's kind of interesting. It does take place in L.A. Die Hard also takes place in L.A. Original screenwriter Fred Decker wrote the movie as a Dirty Harry series film, but was deemed too grim by Clint Eastwood. Later, when it became involved with Joel Silver, it was intended to have Decker to direct it with Kurt Russell to star, which then didn't happen. Oh, okay. Could have been interesting.
So there's some Wilhelm screams in the movie. Ice T had two movies that year. Rugger Howard was considered for the role of the the John Lithgow role. I could see that maybe, but I, I think that is cast perfectly because he is the best part of the movie. I, I'd say, but but yeah, um, I, I tried to find a Roger Ebert review of it at the time. I don't think he did one. It's kind of a smaller movie and it is forgotten now. Like, I mean, I don't even know if it has a Blu-ray. Um, okay, it looks like it does have a Blu-ray. But it's an import from Germany, I guess. I don't know, but, um... Yeah, uh, overall, I, I mean, I like the movie. Um, if you're a fan of Highlander, I, I'd say check it out. If you're a John Lithgow fan, you know, it's another time of him playing a psycho. Basically a serial killer. So... Very entertaining on, on his part. And obviously Denzel's always good. So, But uh, Ricochet, uh, 1991. Uh, another solid movie from Russell Mulcahy. So, yeah. But uh, that's about it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.